Adrenitis suppurativa, or HS, does tend to affect black Americans at a much higher rate than white Americans. What's frustrating though is we don't know why. In terms of racial factors, it's very hard to say what the difference can be. We do know that there's a lot of comorbidities with HS, for example, metabolic syndrome, sometimes high blood pressure and diabetes, which are also have different racial predilections as well that might be playing a role. The challenge traditionally has been that many training programs have not had access in terms of actually seeing skin of color during the course of training or even in our textbooks, meaning there's definitely a sort of a lack of representation there. What happens in practice and what I've seen in practice is a lot of times those earlier stages of redness or erythema are often missed. When we see HS and skin of color, what we often find is you might see a purplish hue to the skin, a discoloration. It won't be as pink or inflamed as you might see on lighter skin types. We have to focus on the symptoms and how these areas feel feeling under the surface to feel if there's any nodules deeply under the surface, as opposed to just looking for redness or pinkness to the skin that you may not see in skin of color. When you're diagnosed with HS, sometimes seeking out a dermatologist who has comfort and experience in treating skin of color can help. If we're just focused on the visual aspect of the skin, we may miss some aspects that are affecting our patients. And it is okay to sometimes ask if they have that access and that understanding of the condition. But at the end of the day, it's really understanding that different populations also approach healthcare have access to healthcare in different ways. My worry is always that if you don't have access to healthcare, it can delay diagnosis as well. We want to make sure that as many people are aware of this condition as possible, that they can seek out care at earlier and earlier stages.